It's really remarkable to see a guy have perspective, right? Because mm -hmm. we lose, but he was a guy who lacked that perspective for so long. To see him have it is kind of a weird thing. But guys, I watched yesterday, and I think you all did as well. I thought he won the day. I know Kepka won the tournament. I know Kepka won the tournament the way that Tiger used to win tournaments at times, by just out driving people. But man, it sure felt like he won the day because think of how many times really educated golf people said it's over. You know, whether it was uh, the fact that he kept switching swing coaches, whether it was the chipping yips, the back, heck, the DUI, which wasn't that long ago. You go back to February of this year, just down the road at Riviera, he didn't make the cut. Or even last week. Last week, he's at uh, Firestone, a place he won eight times, and he fades down the stretch. Jason McIntyre, who sits in these, this seat, has always said, well, Saturday and Sunday, it's, he always peters out. He played better on, if he putts at all on Saturday, he wins on Sunday, and on Sunday, he shoots 64 without hitting a fairway in the front nine, I am all in on Tiger, and I actually think he cemented himself as the best golfer ever based upon not just the wins early in the career, but the comeback, which was complete even without the W yesterday. Yeah, but Doug, we all say you're not good until you're consistent, okay? Tiger had a great day yesterday, one for the books. You know, he missed the cut at the U.S. Open two months ago, right? This is a guy who's turning 43 in December, okay? Tiger Woods is getting up there in age. In the last 20 years, I looked this up. You know how many guys 43 or older? have won a major, won in the last 20 years. The odds are stacked against Tiger to do it again. I mean, I know he had a really good weekend, but only three or four rounds were good enough. And he doesn't, and, and Holly, you can speak to this, I don't think that Tiger strikes fear into other golfers the way he did in his prime. He just, you know, Brooks did not fold. He was just steely down the stretch, and, you know, weaker golfers in the past would have been, oh, Tiger's coming, I'm scared. I just don't see that fear in any of these young golfers. I don't think Tiger's winning another. Tiger isn't quite the Tiger of old on a consistent basis. Jason, you're right about that, but still, right now, yesterday, I would have been scared of Tiger. If I could see what was going on, Brooks, though, was behind him. Brooks could hear the cheers, but Brooks was unflappable. Yeah. I don't think to Brooks Kepka, you know, and Tiger's his idol. He grew up watching Tiger Woods. I don't think he's afraid of him, but I think Brooks is on another level right now. He told his swing coach, Claude Harmon, that he didn't even need him to say a word this entire week. He said, just stand behind me, make sure that my alignment is correct, but I've got this. I'm but, feeling good right now. But but you would admit, this isn't the tournament, no disrespect to Brooks Kepka, who's won three of the last Correct. seven majors. It's not about Brooks. It's about Tiger. Mm -hmm. And you said, well, he's too old. Look, you're never too old to, you're never too drunk to fish. You're never too old to play golf. Okay? <laughs> he's not your average human being. <laughs> and no, he's not, he's not going to be consistent. Nobody at 42 is, it's the, there's a, there's a Toby Keith song. I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. That's Tiger Woods. He doesn't have to be the dominant Tiger Woods of his 20s and 30s. All he has to do is be good a couple of times a year. Augusta, Pebble next year, uh, Beth Page Black. And you start putting one or two tournament wins of majors together. Think about how competitive he was yesterday against an incredible field. Greg, this you is, keep saying wins. I mean, we're, we're running you don't wins. forget I mean, how to win, Greg. Because this is, the, and that's the next level for Tiger. That's why I don't, I've never doubted Tiger and although there's been several who has, but there's been a, a lot who has not because they understand what you just said. You do not forget how to win. You don't forget what it takes to win. It may take time for that to come back. And yes, he has wiltered in other tournaments. Yesterday, for the first time in a major you didn't see that wiltering stance, that wiltering demeanor, that presence. You saw a guy who, no matter what happened off the tee, I got to figure out a way to scramble and get back into play and do what I've always done in my entire career, and that's be Tiger, be special. When the spotlight is the hottest and when it's strictly on me, I have to do that, and he did it. Now, did he win? No, but was it a moral victory? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Will he build on that? Yes, and I do believe we will see Tiger Woods win a major or a tournament before in the next year. J Jason, I mean, you said that Brooks Koepka didn't, didn't, didn't fold, but he also wasn't playing with Tiger. How'd Gary Woodland do yesterday? That's a good he point. was playing with him. <laughs> the heat is on when you're playing with Tiger, but, but Greg, he found a way to score. He didn't hit any fairways on the front nine. He shot a 32. That's what tells me this is the Tiger Revolt. He had a two-way miss going. You know how hard it is to play golf when you have a two-way miss? You don't know off the tee if it's going to go right 
left, that is incredibly stressful. He doesn't care because you know what? He's going to get out of trouble. He's going to find a way to make a par. Look at 18. He almost hit it out of bounds on the left. Finds a way to just rope that nine iron around. 15-footer for birdie. Crowd goes wild. That's Tiger. He's back. So I guess the question becomes, guys, um, is Tiger going to so overshadow even these young stars that he limits their growth? He limits the, the, the public's ability to put their arms around him. I mean, think about Brooks Kepka yesterday. He's playing a road game. Yeah, like, look, you played road games all growing up. I played road But golfers don't. They're used to sterile environments. Nobody talks. Nobody says anything. But even Brooks Kepka is like, look, everybody's rooting against me. I, I just wonder if he so overshadows everybody. Eventually, Father Time will catch up to him. And we'll be left in the same or even worse spot when Tiger leaves us in that we haven't discovered any love affair for any of these young, talented golfers. Doug, I think we already experienced what golf is like without Tiger for the past five or six years. We know what it's like without Tiger. I think we have gotten a gift right now that Tiger is back in contention. And I think all of us know, especially everybody who, who is um, you know, very, very into golf, we appreciate that that time is coming. He's 42 years of age. We don't know how much longer that we're going to have him. So I think we've already experienced life without Tiger. But also, Bruce Kepka knows that he is making the money and, and the attention, the golf is getting the attention that it gets right now because of Tiger Woods. This is, oh, I read this on Twitter today. Brooks Koepka, so we'll, we'll, listen, we'll listen to this. Jason Sobel, I'll give him credit for okay. this. Brooks Koepka's winnings at the U.S. Open and the PGA are greater than Arnold Palmer and Gary's career winnings combined. Wow. That's because of Tiger Woods. Okay, so the, again, the question to you, is Tiger going to limit the growth of these young players? So, so I'm on the beach yesterday with friends and family, and I get some text messages start flowing in. Hey, Tiger's making a run. Jason, you got to get to a TV. So we rally the troops. I watched the back nine. I was impressed. But I, unlike Greg, I, I didn't think he was going to pull it off. And, and, Holly, when you look at the outlook for golf, the only reason I think this isn't good is short-term it's great. We right. saw the ratings were up, I believe, 69% outstanding. But how long do we keep seeing Rory and Jordan and even Brooks in Tiger's shadow and in their prime now, right, in their 20s when they should be dominating and winning? And Tiger, as you said, won the day. I just wonder, how long do we wait for Tiger to win a major? Do we it, wait five years? It, do we wait ten? What, when are we going to give these young guys a chance to really pop and be marketable stars that they should be? Look, as a kid, as, as young kids, we've all had that moment where we played like King of the Mountain or whatever. You always wanted to be on top. There is always something to be said when you have one that is on top that everyone's chasing. It is good for athletics. It's good for sport. It is definitely, in this case, good for golf. When you look at these young golfers right now, they're, they're having the opportunity to play with an, their idol, idol, someone who they've, they've looked up to and they've, they've wanted to model their games after. And to be able to say, Brooks Kepka, if I'm Brooks, I beat Tiger. I, we weren't head to head, we weren't paired. But I beat him. I didn't fold. I didn't wilt. And so that's that's a notch on his resume. But for me, it, he's great for golf. And, the, and golf is in a great position because of Tiger Woods. And having him, it's like Michael Jordan coming back to the NBA. You're going to gain, you're gonna gain it, audience. It, it, you're going to gain it, it, viewers. It didn't, it didn't actually work that way in, in Washington with the Wizards. No. It, actually, it actually didn't. It actually hurt because we realized he could still come back and average 20 even when he was he was long in the team. And the league was hurt badly. The they needed hurt, him th back. That's the parallel, is yeah. the league was hurt badly when he left, uh, and then when he came back, there was a short-term spike and then a long-term loss. But he here's where I will agree with both of you and, and question Jason is, look at Phil Mickelson. N they never paired off on a Sunday at a major, but the rise of Phil Mickelson was in the shadow and during the time of Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, by many accounts, wasn't well-liked. I mean, it was very polarizing during his initial rise. Whereas Phil Mickelson was a guy who on tour wasn't well-liked, but the American public thought he's more like me and you. When you say mm -hmm. well-liked, you mean media, right? Uh, no, by Tiger? No, yeah, I would say- Tiger didn't like the media. He feuded no, with the I media, was, he barely gave them access. It, I don't think it was just, the, I don't think it was just the media. Some golf people didn't like how he cursed. Some people didn't like how he was anointed. Okay. Uh, they didn't like, you know, how, how they had a tiger, they called it tigerizing golf courses. People talked about the equipment. There's a lot of, lot of different things. And how he over overshadowed the, the game of golf. The, the people, some, look, well, this is what we do in our country. We build them up, and then we tear them down. Absolutely. Okay? But Phil Mickelson was a guy that on tour wasn't that well-liked, but suddenly became kind of America's guy. We wrapped, And they never had a true rivalry because they didn't play against one another. That's what golf needs. 
whether it's one, two, three of these guys, these young golf, golf guys, to go out head-to-head. It doesn't look like Ricky has it, even though he has all the swag to have it, but there's plenty of options, whether it's Spieth, whether it's Rory, whether it's Brooks Kepka, to stare him down on a Sunday at a major and take the conk from him. That's what golf needs, and then he wouldn't limit their growth. This is what makes this different, though, and what we haven't talked about yet. This isn't just a professional comeback. This is a personal comeback on so many levels for Tiger Woods. This is personal. Think about where he's been. We talked about the DUI. He's been down. People saying he needs to retire. He's embarrassing himself. He needs to get out. He, so many years ago, what, six, seven years ago, he did, couldn't where, even finish 18 holes. Did you sell your Tiger Woods stock? I did. You want to buy back? I did. I held on to mine. <laughs> did you guys see You're the look? You're holding too long, Did Doug. you guys look? Too see the, long. Hold on. Did you see the look that Brooks Kepka's girlfriend gave Tiger yes. Woods? Okay? Oh, boy. No, listen. Oh, in a, boy. In a, in, a, in, a, in a completely platonic way... Okay, I kind of think that's what how all of us felt. We were all like, oh, my God, he's back. This is real. It's on. Tell your friends. And the only downer is we got to wait like 250 days till we see him in Augusta. Yeah. And I don't think the writer three and a half. Yeah. Yeah, we'll it's, it's going to be well.